Hi everyone, I'm Will and I'm going to give a quick walkthrough of my ClickUp workspace and show you how I use it to keep productive and keep on top of everything to do with my personal life and my business. So I moved away from Notion to ClickUp for my task and project management. And I love Notion, it's brilliant. This is my dashboard right here. It's got everything that I need, but I really wanted something more from the tasks. So recurring tasks specifically, that was one, um, and some automation, that was another thing. And in ClickUp, I love the fact it's got email integrated. So you can email tasks to ClickUp, uh, but you can also like email clients from within inside a task. It's got all these cool things. So now I have a link on my Notion dashboard for tasks and that will take me over to my ClickUp workspace over here. So I want to do a quick walkthrough of this and show you what I've got. Now everything's got a hierarchy in ClickUp. Um, it can be a bit more structured than Notion. Notion's all about pages and laying things out kind of how you want. ClickUp is you've got this hierarchy and you make it work for you basically. So what I've got here is I've got three spaces, got my workspace, client services, and then a play area. So the play area is where I'm making things like templates or just if I'm um, onboarding someone or trying to show them what ClickUp is like, I make a little space in there and have a play around and show them what I can do. Uh, so in my workspace, I've got two folders. So that's the next hierarchy down from space. You've got space and folders. So I've got domain and CRM. So, oh, and then we've got an inbox in here. So inbox is where I kind of just put everything that I want to do. You know, everything will just go in there and then I can sort it out later on. So my domains are all of these things here. So I split up my tasks into different areas of life. So my career, my family, my finances, all those sorts of things. And then we've got a CRM here and we've got meetings and contacts. This is my entire system really here to keep me on track with everything all inside ClickUp. So if we have a look at uh, domains, let's go for content ideas. So content ideas, this is a list in ClickUp. And inside here, each list can have different statuses. It can have different properties. So the ones that I've got in here, uh, what's this one? Make a loom of my tasks and note process. So this is what I'm doing right now. So what I can do actually, is move this to in progress. So these are very simple statuses. I'm just using the standard ones. I don't really need anything more than that. So I'm going to move this to in progress and it will shift it up there. So now I've added a content type as a selector on here. So this is going to be a video. Um, we could turn it into a blog or something. Yeah, let's do a video and we'll turn it into a blog. It's got a due date of today and it's assigned to me. So that's what I do in the um, content ideas. So things usually start in the inbox and then if they're content ideas, they'll end up inside here and I can tag them with different things here, add a due date. And if we go into the task itself, just to give you an idea, um, so make a loom of my task and note process based on this message. So someone sent me a DM and that sort of kicked off the idea for this video. And you can see here, we've got two empty columns. So, um, or empty properties. We've got value and energy level. Now value, um, I'm using the 10K framework. So how value valuable is this task? Um, you know, if it's a 10, that's basically like trying to do inbox zero, something that will make you feel like you're doing something, but <clears throat> you're not, you're not really doing anything productive. And then, you know, something that's 10 times more valuable than that, 10 times more valuable than that and 10 times again. So a 10 K task is like big, should be done, gives you all the leverage and everything of your wildest dreams do that task. So this really helps, um, focus on what tasks are actually important. So if I have a whole load of, you know, value 10 tasks, but then I have a 1K task and they've all got roughly the same due date, I'll do the 1K task. It's more important that I get that done. And then energy level is the other property we have in here. So I've got high energy and low energy. And this just tells me, um, you know, you can add a filter on that says if it's, uh, so this is a high energy task and value Let's say this is 100. So you could add a filter that you just do high energy, high energy tasks in the morning, for instance. So if you're wide awake in the morning, you could have a list for just your morning tasks and it would be the high energy ones. Same for the evening, your low energy tasks, save those for the evening. 
So that's just another way of like filtering through all your tasks. And then inside here, you can have subtasks. So I might say, um, film the video. I want to do that. Uh, so that's what I'm doing right now. Let's move that into in progress. And then we want to edit the video. Blur out sensitive info. And then publish the video to YouTube and share on the socials. So this is probably pretty standard for any video that I'm going to make. Um, and lots of my videos are walkthroughs like this. So one really cool thing you can do in ClickUp is um, save this as a template. So if I went up here to task settings, template center, save as a template, and then you have lots of different options of what you want to include. So include everything in here or just include, you know, a few things like the comments you might add or the description or dependencies, things like that. Um, so that is really, really useful in ClickUp is <clears throat> a bit like Notion having these templates for your tasks. So we're filming the video right now. That's in progress. That's all good. And then you've got relationships so you can relate this task to other tasks and then attachments. You can add um, ClickUp docs or you can upload any file that you want and you can add Google Drive on there. And then you've got a space for comments. So if I'm working through this, I could add a comment like, um, let's say I'm filming this right now. And I can't type this evening. Meta. So add comments in there and then you can assign comments to people. That's another really cool feature if you're working in a team and you can estimate how long this is going to take. So I think this entire task, let's say it will take me two hours and then you could track the time that's going to take. So start the timer and this gives you a good idea of if you're estimating the task for two hours, you can then see, did that task actually take me two hours? Yes, no. And then next time you estimate a task like this, you can um, estimate better basically. So I'm going to leave that timer running there and carry on with the video. So that's a bit of what ClickUp can do. And then I just wanted to show you now an overview of how I use it a bit more. So content ideas, I've got a section for career. Uh, events is where I put in any gigs or things that I'm going to. So I store the tickets in here as um, files and then family finances. There's nothing in health at the minute, apparently. Um, I've got my health all under control, obviously. Uh, hobbies, home, meal plan and product feedback. So meal plan is the one I'm thinking of maybe getting rid of. I just couldn't quite figure out a nice way of setting all this up. Um, I might actually just keep this as a like a recipe book oh, and then product feedback. So this is actually linked to my, so here's another really cool feature and click up. This is my product feedback form. So when somebody uh, downloads a template of mine, uh, I think I've only got this on my uh, premium template in the minute, the one for notion invoice generator. So at the top, it's got a link and open it up. It'll take you to this feedback form and then they can fill out some details in here. Oh, the background's gone a bit funny there. I think it's getting a bit confused between light mode and dark mode. There we go. So you can fill out the details. How would you rate it? And then they can add all this in. And when they hit submit, um, there we go. Editing is really nice as well. It's just all drag and drop. So when they hit submit, it will end up in here. So someone called Anna filled out some feedback and all of the details will be inside that task and you can then improve your products, which is amazing. But again, I like the fact that Someone fills out the form and it creates a task for you and it's in the right place and it's all sitting there nicely. So that is my domains. That's basically how I keep my life um, as on track as it can be. And then I've got this CRM. So inside the CRM folder, we've got meetings and contacts. So contacts, a lot of this is going to be blurred out, but you'll get the idea. So contacts, these are all people who I want to keep contact with. Um, and then I've got a place for their photo. I found that's really important because I forget what people look like. Uh, so if I have a meeting with them, I might take a screenshot and pop it in there. Email, phone, what company they work for, their position, website, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. Uh, where did I meet them? Like, how do I know them? You see mostly it's Twitter there. Um, and then you've got this relation property here. So the relation property um, links to this meetings area. So what happens is that I use TidyCal to book meetings, a bit like Calendly, 
And when someone books a meeting, it comes into here as an automatic task, which is really cool. And then I can make meeting notes inside here. So if I click on this one, um, you can add an attachment and you can add a new document. So I'll show you what the documents look like. And you can say meeting notes for, there we go. And then you could make your notes or what could be really cool is you could have a template in here that every time a meeting note is created or a meeting note document, load up your template and you've got your meeting notes. So if I search for meeting, they've got lots of templates built in. That's really cool. Like a board meeting minutes template and for nonprofits. Um, so we click on that. And then you can see you've got this lovely template all built out for you. So that's documents. Documents really cool. They work kind of the same as Notion. Um, they are always attached to a task. Actually, no, that's a lie. They're not always attached to a task. They do have their own place where they can live down here. But the only way you can organize them is by tagging them. So it's not, you can't organize them like you can in Notion um, by adding lots of different properties and filtering in a table. To do that, you really have to have a table like what you see in front of you here with different properties inside the task, but they're not really tasks. They're just a title of a document and it's got a document attached. It's a bit long winded, but anyway, back to the CRM bit, meetings and contacts. So these meetings can be linked to these contacts. So you just link them as a relation and then you can see, oh, cool. I've had 10 meetings with this particular person and oh this is what we talked about last time so that's how I do my meetings area um, then so that's my workspace now we've got client services so client services I have an area for prospective clients so again it's got a contact form here this is on my website so they fill out the contact form that comes in it raises a task in here and from there I can then decide you know what do I want to do with it? So are they a lead potential? Is a call scheduled? All these sorts of things. So these are different statuses you'll see than what's in my workspace. My workspace just uses to do in progress and done, but this one has got different statuses. And then in the client projects area, uh, so this is a public template that I've made here. Um, so I was talking about templates before. What's really cool is that I could go here and go to templates. I can browse the templates and then I've got one in here. It's new client project template. So when I click that, that will actually load up all of this stuff for me, ready to go with a new client. So inside this bit, this is the actual projects that I'll be doing for someone. And then I can share this list with them using a link, which is really cool. So this page is shared publicly. Copy that, go over to there. And actually, this is what's on my website. So if I go to notiondad.com and we scroll down here, and this is this bit that's loading up there. So you've got all the stuff just embedded in the website there. And that's this list here. So that's pretty nice is that you can easily share things with clients. You don't have to build them a portal. You can just give them a link. So this is how I work. Um, trying to keep track of everything when I'm working with a client, basically. So You've got your discovery call, you know, a client needs to send the spec, all the proposal stuff. So I've got my proposal document embedded in one of these tasks. Um, and let's say, let's say I wanted to send them an invoice or I wanted to send them a proposal, let's say. So write the proposal, send the proposal. What I can do is in here, you can add comments, which is really cool, but you can also email. So you could write an email to someone, subject, write your email, attach a document, and then all communication is inside this particular task. So I found that is amazing for working with clients. It just keeps everything super organized. You're not having to go into your actual email client and try and find their emails versus all the junk and spam you get. It's just, if you email them from the task and they reply, it comes into here. And then you could set up some automation that uh, if you get an email from that client, um, then it could go into a special area in your ClickUp because you can email send emails to tasks and that's what I'm trying to say or send them to lists or folders and all that stuff and I think the final thing just to talk about quickly would be automations so that's one of the other amazing things about ClickUp is you've got automations built in there's one so one that I like doing on here is when there's a meeting 
when the due date arrives, then change the status to started. So if we go to edit this, you'll see when the due date of a meeting arrives, then the status of that meeting goes to in progress. So it's just a nice little thing I don't have to worry about. Um, I click on here. So I've got scheduled, in progress, needs review and finished. So for my meetings specifically, they all start out as scheduled. When the due date arrives, they go into in progress. So what you could do here is you can have a, let's say I open this one up again. You can have a start date and a due date. So the start date was 8.30, due date was 9 p.m. So you could say in your automation that when the start date arrives, change the status to in progress. And then you create another automation when the due date arrives, change the status to something else. And the other statuses that I've got are either needs review or finished. So if I've done the meeting and I need to go back on something, then obviously it needs review. So I like doing this bit manually, but if you didn't want those, you could just set it to finished or archive it after the meeting is done. So the only other thing that I want to show off on ClickUp really quickly is let's go back into this meeting. Let's add a new document in there. Let's say this is meeting notes. And this again is one of my favorite features. So automation, email, and what I'm about to show you here are my favorite features. So this, uh, let's say we have, a, so you're making meeting notes and you think, all oh, right, I have to do this. Um, email them the, I don't know, email them the meeting notes. Let's say we've got that task and then we have to do another task of uh, buy them a coffee. So these are okay, just sitting in your docs and you could turn them into little checklists like that. But they're just sitting in your meeting notes somewhere. You're going to forget about them. They're not really going to get looked at because they're not integrated with your whole task system. So what you can do is you can highlight this and you can create a task from that highlight. So if I made a task in here, I would put it, let's say, in my inbox and the task name is going to be email them the meeting notes. I'll assign it to myself and we'll leave all the rest blank. Click create. And now I've got this task made. So as well as it sitting inside the meeting notes here, it's actually a real task that lives inside my whole system. It's in my inbox and I can add all the properties and all the description, everything else that I actually need to do for a task, track it all, complete it, done, sorted. So yeah, that is how I try and keep productive and how I try to keep organized and make sure I don't go crazy with all the work that I'm doing. So thank you for watching this. If you've got any questions or suggestions or anything you want to chat about at all, let me know in the comments and I'll reply. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. See ya.